A question of character. This is Paul Phoenix. This is also Paul Phoenix. And this is Paul Phoenix. But this is Paul Phoenix. Paul Phoenix has blood. Hot blood. Causing him to do this. Recovery attack. You thought he was getting up. No. Paul Phoenix was getting back. Paul Phoenix has hair. A lot of hair. That is going up. Paul Phoenix's hair is like his fighting style. Straight up judo. Paul Phoenix pulls no punches, but also pulls all of the punches using a punchy, kicky judo rather than a flippy throwy. But Paul Phoenix can get flippy throwy. T flip, intercepting the enemy's punch arm, cracking their bones with judo crotch, then tossing. Paul Phoenix also uses traditional tosses the shoulder throw, the rollback toss. But when Paul Phoenix gets untraditional, Watch out. Hammer fist. Using the power of the workman's glorious hammer into the shape of fist. An updated and more devastating variation of the judo chop. Paul Phoenix loves being untraditional. For instance, instead of the average car, Paul Phoenix rides the road hog. And instead of his traditional red judo fighting uniform and black belt, Paul Phoenix fights in road hog leather with bad boy chains. And and fire, representing that hot blood. The hair stays up. Paul Phoenix's rival is Kazuya Mishima, sponsor of the Tekken tournament and survivalist of Sunicide, with Kazuya's father, Heihachi, attempting to murder him. They have previously fought, ending in a draw, but he is back to settle the score to at least a win and likely for gas money. Paul Phoenix is unemployed. However, Paul Phoenix will always hold the position of ass kicker, as well as kicking of other body parts. A devastating sweet kick, roundhouse kick. Paul Phoenix does lunging double kicks in Chicago. His punches are crushing. Power punch directly to the sternum, making opponents fly. Also using the forearm smash. So much power, so little arm, so far away. Paul Phoenix loves to hit enemies when they are down. Incapacitational punches are the best punches. He disguises flips into attack, slipping attack. But Paul Phoenix does not only attack, he also blocks magnificently. A true judo martial artist, causing a white spark of block instead of colors of injury as well. Paul Phoenix is swift, dodging attacks and countering with a deadly strike, also using 10 hit strike combos, which would seem to make Paul Phoenix the ultimate warrior. However, most everyone in the Tekken tournament are ultimate warriors, making Paul Phoenix's specialized moves a little less special. They have his hammer fist. They have his get back attack. But what they don't have is Paul Phoenix's hot blood and his hair. But nobody wants that. Power moderate. Paul Phoenix has amazing attacks, practicing them on intricate and detailed art he has illustrated to punch. But since he is fighting against opponents with similar strengths, it is completely necessary that he fights just as well, but better. Defense. Excellent. Paul Phoenix has high resistance to pain, but even better resistance to attacks, using his judo training to block incoming blows. At least the human ones. Agility. Excellent. Paul Phoenix is able to move with breathtaking ability, mimicking the rough but also brisk power of the Roadhog. And any fighter that can move like this in battle leather has to be commended. Grade B. Paul Phoenix loves fighting as much as he likes pizza. That is just a fact. Despite his rebel looks, he fights with honor, bowing after beating. A beat bow. And it is certain that he has what it takes to challenge his rival Kazuha and win. However, against Kazuha's father, well, that's a different story. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question of character.